Hey guys, and welcome to this week's episode of D3 Live. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about some of the future Apple products that's pretty much on everyone's mind right now, which is of course the iPhone 5 and the iPod Touch 5. So of course, that's some of the biggest things around when you know the new phone comes around, everyone talks about it, there's leaks, rumors, just like last year with the iPhone 4. So today I want to give you guys a kind of a recap of what we know, what we think we know, and all that kind of stuff. So to begin with, let's take a look at the iPhone 5. Now, the, one of the biggest things about the iPhone is that it is late this year. Pretty much every year since the iPhone was first announced back in 2007, it has been released on a yearly schedule. We always see it at WWDC. It's usually around you know, the beginning of June. They show it off, and then we're able to get it a little bit later. However, this year, that's not the case, as WWDC has come and went, and no iPhone 5 was to be found. So as far as we know, the best shot for seeing the iPhone 5 this year will be September, where typically Apple does their iPod event and shows off the new iPods and... You know, occasionally a couple of Macs, but what it looks like is this year, this September, we will see not only the iPhone 5, but also the iPod and probably a couple of other new products as well. Uh, and as far as what to expect with the iPhone 5, there's been a lot of talk. There have been people who think it's just going to be the iPhone 4 with perhaps the dual-core Apple A5 processor, and then all, on the other hand, there have been people who say it's going to be a dramatic redesign. It's going to be a lot more, you know, kind of tapered, a little bit more like the iPod Touch or perhaps like the MacBook Air with you know the kind of the tapered lines and uh, more of a unibody style rather than the kind of sandwich ice cream bar looking thing of the iPhone 4. Uh, now as far as I'm concerned I kind of tend to think that it will be more of a total redesign. Uh, you know I mean there's nothing majorly wrong with the iPhone 4 design. It's still a great looking phone but especially with the antenna that's not fantastic and the fact that it almost looks a little bit chunky and a little bit industrial compared to some of these other new designs from other companies. I wouldn't be surprised if we actually see a bit of a more tapered off design on the iPhone 5. Uh, as far as the specs goes I think it's going to be pretty obvious. We're going to see the Apple A5 processor. We may see some other things such as you know like better RAM and you know some, some small things like that but for the most part I think it's going to be just an incremental upgrade kind of just keeping it on par with the iPad 2. And as far as the screen goes there's also been a lot of talk that it'll be a little bit of a larger screen. Currently the iPhone 4 has a uh, 3.5 inch display which is what all iPhones and iPod touches have had in the past. Uh, like I said I wouldn't be surprised if we see it a little bit bigger perhaps like an edge to edge display of perhaps 3.7 inches. It's kind of hard to tell exactly how big it will be but most likely the screen will be a little bit bigger and while still of course staying a retina display. Uh, now as far as the iPod Touch 5 goes I think a lot of the same things apply. I think that you know iPhone iPod Touch are always been very very close pretty much iPods just you know an iPhone without uh, you know, the cellular radio so I think a lot of the things that are from the iPhone 5 will come across so we'll see the Apple A5 processor most likely the larger display um, and we may see a little bit of a redesign now personally I would love it if they got rid of the uh, the aluminum or whatever type of stainless steel whatever the type of backing that uh, the iPod touch has it's so shiny uh, it literally absolutely requires you to use a case I mean I've had iPod touches for a while and the thought of using one without a case is kind of uh, kind of scary, scary a little bit. So I really wish that they would get some kind of, I don't care if it's a matte finish or maybe perhaps different colors for the iPod Touch or something, but just allow us to actually use them without some big bulky case on it. Um, beyond that, like I said, probably a larger screen. You know, Apple A5 processor, perhaps more RAM. Uh, wouldn't be surprised, perhaps we might see a 128 gigabyte iPod Touch this year. Uh, you know, it's always a possibility. You know, always kind of creeping up, getting ready to you know get rid of the uh, the iPod Classic. Um, but as far as a the overall design goes, I wouldn't be surprised if it does stay the same. It might not even change at all. Um, we might see a little bit of a better camera or whatever. But for the most part, I'm not really looking forward to the iPod Touch 5 too much. I think it's just going to be more of a incremental upgrade. Okay, so for the second segment of D3 Live, I'll be taking live questions from everyone in the chat. As always, every episode of D3 Live is filmed in front of a live audience on Blog TV. We've got quite a few people in the room right now, so let's go ahead and just take a couple of questions. Um, where do I see tablets in the next five years? Uh, well, you know, if I knew the answer to that, I would definitely go take it to the bank and be a millionaire. Uh, I think tablets are going to be huge. But where, what direction they're going to take, it, I, I really can't say. I mean, really, tablets are just in their infancy. I mean, if you took a look at like the very first smartphone, you know, like like some of the early Palm devices or maybe like an original BlackBerry, you know, that was one of the very first smartphones. We look at smartphones today; they are radically different. And I think the same is going to go for tablets. I think tablets are pretty good right now, um, but you know, in the next five years or so, I mean, I can't even imagine where they're going to be. I mean, I I I cannot think that they're not just going to just totally take off in some direction that we have no idea about. So yeah. I think in the next five years, tablets are going to definitely go up, but exactly like what they're going to do and all that kind of stuff, and what kind of amazing new features that we definitely can't live without, with, uh, live without, uh, are coming. I have no idea. Um, 
when will the next version of Green Poison for iOS 4.3.3 be released? Um, as far as I know, they are still working on it. I know they've always said that Green Poison will support 4.3.3. Uh, but as far as I know, they're still trying to work on the iPad 2 jailbreak uh, before the uh, uh, 4.3.3 for everything, since there's, of course, already uh, red snow for that. Uh, but I don't know exactly when it's happening or anything like that. But I do know that it is in the works. Um, how much do I think the iPod Touch 5G will cost? 5G doesn't sound quite right. But, uh, yeah, the next iPod Touch will almost definitely be around the same price. Uh, they did bump the price up a little bit when they uh, put out the fourth generation model. Um, but to be honest, I mean, it, it may vary a little bit, maybe just a little bit more expensive, maybe a little bit cheaper. Uh, but to be honest, I would imagine pretty much the same kind of price points as right now. Uh, what, the only way where I really see it, you know, varying at all is if they introduce like a 128 gig model or perhaps they get rid of the 8 gig. Um, but that's, that's just more of capacity. I mean, as far as the actual prices go, like I said, I don't think it's going to be a major difference. Uh, do I think iOS 5 will be out before the next iPhone? Uh, no, I think they will probably come out at the same time. Typically, that's the way it works. Is you know they announce iOS 5 or whatever the next version of the uh, iPhone firmware is. They announce it, and like you know, two or three months or so later, they will announce that and release it alongside the iPhone, or the new iPhone rather. So yeah, I think probably in September is when we will both see the final version of iOS 5 push out to all the devices as well as when the iPhone 5 will be released. Um, is there going to be some a new iPod Classic this year? You know, that's a hard question to answer. I mean, they've kept the iPod Classic around for a long time. They have not, I mean, really since the, you know, the iPod Touch came out, they've pretty much put a lot of the other iPods, well, I would say the iPod Classic the most, they put it just kind of on the back burner. I mean, they haven't discontinued it. They've, you know, a couple of little tiny things, but for the most part, they've just kind of left it alone. And I think if we do see an iPod Touch with 120 gigabytes of storage this year, I think that will finally kill off the iPod Classic. I mean, they may still keep it around. I don't know, but as far as a new design goes, I really don't see that happening. Um, will there be a refresh for all iPods or just iPhone and iPod Touch? Well, uh, I definitely do think that we will see iPhone and iPod Touch re refreshes. Um, most likely we'll see an iPod Nano. Apple's been really good about continuously adding stuff to the iPod Nano. I've definitely heard a lot of rumors about perhaps a camera for that. Um, as far as the shuffle goes, I'm not 100 sure we may see a new version of the shuffle, but um, if you take a look at like the last kind of few generations of the iPod shuffle, it's pretty much been, well, we're just bouncing around between ideas. Like the fourth generation looks a lot like the second generation, and you know there's not a whole lot you can do. It's not like you can make it the size of a grain of salt and you know put it in your hand or something. I mean, there's not a whole lot more they can do with it. So um, what I'm looking for right now is just a new iPod Nano iPhone and iPod Touch. We may see a new shuffle, or we may see a new classic, uh, but I don't really see anything like that happening. It's possible, but I don't really think it's all that likely. Um, why do you think the iPod 5 is being made so soon after the iPod 4? Um, well, actually, it's not. Uh, iPods have been on a yearly cycle for uh, well, ever since the first one came out, and it's almost been a year since the iPod Touch 4th generation comes out, so I don't really see any problem. It's been practically, a little, assuming it comes out in September, it'll be exactly one year, just like every other iPod model. So yeah, I don't see any problem with that at all. Anyway, guys, that's it for this week's episode of D3 Live. If you enjoyed, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button up above, and you'll be notified with all of my new content.